Hello stylers and welcome back to another big tea y'all. Today's video is a tutorial on this beautiful wool plaid wrap skirt. So we're gonna jump right in. So we're gonna begin off with this beautiful um, red blue checkered plaid that I picked up from show ins earlier this year. We're gonna go right in with some patterns. This is a pattern that I created um, last year for a client doing a similar style skirt. So we're gonna jump into a montage and we trying to figure out the measurements um, versus the measurements versus the pattern, adding them up with my own manage measurements as well as to making sure I have enough fabric to cut the pieces I wanted to cut. Because I only had roughly three yards, I wanted to make sure that I had enough fabric to do what I wanted to do. In the end, the measurements were still too big and I had way more than enough fabric to do what I wanted to do. So I end up creating the pitiful bib for this wrap skirt because I only intended to, to have the wrap skirt, but I had more than enough fabric left over. Okay, once I had everything figured out with my measurements, the pattern, and how much I had of the actual material, the skirt itself is 30 inches long. The back is 32 because I need extra room for my behind, which the pieces um, measure from my waist down to the widest part of my hips. So at my waist is about a 48 and down to my hips is about a 64. So I have that tapered off right now. I'm just cutting straight square pieces um and i'm going to be cutting a back and two fronts because this is a wrap skirt we need two fronts so the front is going to be the measurement of my waist and then i'm going to split that in half because i need them to overlap in the front next i am going to cut the two front pieces which i am um, put it in half from my front waist, which is, you can see me double here, here, double checking my measurements. I am going to cut that in half. My front, um, I divided my waist in half and then I divided my hips in half. So I'm just going to cut straight line using the, the plaid checkers to be my guides and cutting a straight line. And then I will go in and taper in the sides. So I believe this measured at a 28. Both front pieces measure at a 28 wide and again a 30. And then this is my second front piece. And this piece will be cut at a slight diagonal on the wide side to give that tapered um, wrap over me. This piece will be cut at 32 inches, whereas the front piece will be cut at 30, and this will taper in on the sides. Next, I'm gonna use the remaining of the fabric from that um, long piece, and I'm gonna cut um, four inch strips. You can see me here just even off the fabric to make sure that it's even I have enough so I'm gonna cut two four inch strips which is going to be folded over and become my waistband and I end up having to create um yeah I had to cut two strips to cover the circumference of my waist because the fabric wasn't long enough to be one continuous strip And pin the right sides together which is with this plaid either side is the right side and I'm going to do a straight stitch down the side to secure that together so that it is one continuous piece when I go to attach it to my waistband to the top of my skirt to become my waistband next I'm going to go in and finish off the raw edges um, 
of this wool I don't want it to fray it it doesn't fray but it kind of just unravels a bit which is fine for a certain type of look um, but for the finish ends of the inside of the skirt that would be the wrap part I didn't want the ends to unravel too much and become long loose threads This is me creating the darts. I end up adding two darts in the front, one on each panel and two darts in the back. So you can see me here, I created four inch darts. Um, I created a four inch dart and made it four inches long. I end up having to reposition my dart because one of them was too far over to the side seam and I needed one to be closer. I need that one to be closer to the front of the skirt. So this is my back piece laid out flat on the table. I'm gonna take the first panel of the front piece and that is the panel that is going to be laying flat against the body. This is the part that's gonna be under the wrap of the skirt. And I'm gonna sew that down with right size facing. I am going to leave enough room at the top, nine inches, to leave enough room to insert a zipper. So I measure nine inches down, giving me about a little room, nine and a quarter. And then I am going to pin the majority of that fabric down, do a straight side stitch, and then um, attach the second piece so I can go in and attach my zipper. And it doesn't matter which side of the skirt you attach your zipper. It all depends on what's more comfortable for you. If you like it on the right side, put it on the right side. If you like it on the left side, put it on the left side. Whichever way you want to wrap your skirt. Just think about that all before you start pinning and sewing things down. Next, I am pinning down how I want the skirt to lay. So all three panels, all three sides are connected. I am laying down how I want the skirt to wrap up and lay. Pinning down that wrap to lay on top of each other so it would have, it would, it would look finished so that I can go ahead and attach the waistband. So I've already tried it on, see how it looks. Um, and I know I want what part to, um, the front part to lay and where I want it to hit. And I'm just folding over the access from that wrap part that I'm going to create a nice clean hem with once everything is done. Okay, now it's time to attach the waistband. I have attached the waistband right sides together. Waistband is laying flat. It has not been folded or pressed. Right sides together, pinning it around the entire waistband. You can see me going through, making sure that the raw ends are even and matched up. I started with the side seam, which will be the zipper. And I went all the way around to the other side to make sure that I had enough of the waistband and everything was even and matched up. I'm not worried about the size, the seam in the waistband being matched up with the side seam because when it's on me, you're not gonna be able to notice that. So you just wanna make sure that you're gathering all of that fabric from the skirt in those stitches when you're attaching the waistband. Once you have done that, you want to fold the fabric in half of the waistband and catching all of the fabric inside that that seam allowance all of it inside of your fold and you want to press that in half and do a 
a blind stitch or a stitch in a ditch to close off that waistband. Now I'm just playing around with some button selection, deciding which buttons I want. I want, I really love the idea of having buttons down the front as if this was a functioning skirt. So I went with these big black round buttons. I really like the contrast they um, added. I am going to add a stitch down the front of the skirt so that the skirt help will help the skirt stay closed. So when I'm walking and sitting, the skirt is not flying open. Because again, thick thighs. They save lives, but they also reveal your business. Next, I'm going to take some of that uh, remaining material and I'm going to measure me out a bib. I measured this out using half of my bust. So that measured out to about 20 inches and I measured it about 15 inches um, long. And I'm going to make that a nice little triangle and I'm going to taper in the tops. So the top will be more um, narrow than the bottom. And I'm just going to do a simple fold over hem for this. You this is the re re remaining of the fabric of the skirt that I had to cut away because I had too much skirt for my waist and hips. I had to take it in just a bit. Um, I'm going to seam rip away the two ends that are folded together and I am going to measure out um, four inch pieces, four inch strips, fold those in half and I'm going to use this material to create my straps for my pinafore. Put those right sides together, do a simple stay stitch down the length of the straps and clean off the finishing hems of my bib for my pinafore. Turn my straps inside, right side out. And with that, you are done. I had this up on me and I went ahead and decided to add some sewn on snaps on the inside of the skirt waistband and the outside of the pinafore and stripe straps to so that this um, outfit can be interchangeable. When I wanna wear a skirt, I can wear a skirt. And when I wanna have the pinafore and bib, I can have the pinafore and bib and don't be stuck with one or the other. I really like that this can be two different looks in one. I also went ahead and added buttons to the top of the pinafore to look as if that the straps are detachable as well. Which they are not, but I do like the look of the buttons at the top of the pinafore. And you want to make sure that you are wearing this when you are planning to attach those snap-ons and um, for the front and the back of the pinafore and the straps. And with that stylers, you are done. I really, really love how this turned out. I have been wanting to make a wrap skirt for so long out of wool or a plaid. And I've also never made a pinafore before. Um, and so I love that I was able to create these two things in one. This has been on my fall winter wish list for so long to have a plaid wool wrap skirt. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are staying safe and you guys are staying encouraged and you're loving on each other and being kind to yourself and patient with yourself. Hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season. I rejoice you have made it. You have made it. We have come this far. Love you guys.